हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी शेल वी स्टार्ट यस सर ओके सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग द एफोरिजम्स फ्रॉम द 6th एडिशन ऑफ ऑर्गन ऑफ मेडिसिन एंड इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव फिनिश्ड द सेकंड एफोरिजम सो इन द सेकंड एफोरिजम डॉक्टर सैमुअल हैनेमन वांट्स टू एक्सप्लेन यू दैट हाउ द आइडियल क्योर शुड बी he is not explaining that every cure should be ideal cure must be he says that highest ideal of cure is rapid gentle permanent restoration of state of health or removal or annihilation of the disease in its whole extent in the shortest most reliable and most harmless way on easily comprehensible principle and we have discussed everything but the two important things one must born in your mind that shortest means so what is the meaning of the word shortest is as early as possible it varies from case to case in some case you can get it in few days in some cases even months sometimes even 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 sometimes years also required because it depends upon what type of case you are dealing with and one one must understand all those things uh, he himself have mentioned it in the aphorism number 148 that in acute cases the cure happens very fast and even patient doesn't know when it has happened when the complaints have been disappeared so unconsciously it disappears but when when you are dealing with the chronics it never disappears spontaneously unconsciously it it troubles patients because the disease goes from less more important organ to less important organ and when it comes on the external layer surface layer it it is always a troublesome and that's why it is not so easy as compared to the acute one and second important thing that it takes time and it never yields to a single remedy it takes it requires one remedy in different potency or sometimes even different remedies in different potency so this is what one must born in your mind that it is not single remedy which will going to achieve your ideal cure over there so this is this is this should be a thought in your mind that how cure should cure must be but this is not always so in reality now we will turn towards the third aphorism which is called to be a, a miniature miniature of the organ of medicine because the qualities which are necessary to become a homeopath hanuman have explained over there he explained what exactly the homeopath should know and what exactly the homeopath must understand so this aphorism details you each and everything regarding the organ of medicine and in fact whole organ is based upon this third aphorism so we'll read it sentence by sentence and we'll understand exactly what he wants to explain in third aphorism if the physician clearly perceives the word perceives very important word which he has used perceiving is the thing where one must understand just looking towards the towards the thing towards the person towards the patient towards the any any anything the perception is of two types the first variety which is called to be a verbal perception or another which is called to be a non verbal perception so verbal is like that that something happens because verbally so and you understand thing but many a times non verbal communication gives you a lot of thing and this quality is there with each and every individual every individual has this quality you have this quality when you meet your friend you just look towards the face of the your friend and you you ask what is wrong with you nothing has been discussed not a single sentence not a single word is uttered and still you just look into towards the face of your friend immediately you ask what has happened what is wrong with you what it means you have perceived the things you have perceived it non verbally and this is what is very important for you so if the physician clearly perceives what is to be cured in diseases see what he says what is to be cured in diseases this is too important what exactly you want to cure whether you want to cure the pathology whether you want to cure that symptom whether you want to cure the cause whether you want to con cure the miasm exactly what you want to cure this is very important entity i will share one example that that gives you a exact idea 
what should be cured the question arises what should be cured in this case there was a this is the case of way back in fact in very early in my practice she was the girl of just 13 14 years from the 10 standard a muslim girl she came to me having a chronic cough since childhood and she not a single month has passed that she was without uh, allopathic medicine and when i started taking the case just she started the weeping and throughout the case she was weeping she was very cute her skin was so delicate that it looks like a phosphorus element that is so delicate skin was there the skin was so delicate that as if everything was seen through the skin it was so delicate and she was continuously coughing at the same time she was weeping i asked what is the reason behind weeping because i put the question what is your problem and when i asked this question what is your problem she started narrating regarding the cup and then i asked what is the, what is wrong with you and she then she started explaining that when she was a four years of age her father ran away from the house he never returned back her mother was with her and her mother she used to remain with her and every time during the parents meet only her mother used to go along with her or otherwise no one and she feels very much disturbed because of it because she doesn't have a father to go over there for parents meet second important thing the two years back her mother had done second marriage and she also left and she was there with only grand, with their grandparents and this was troubling her and this was creating a situation which she cannot detail to anyone because this is the thing which happens at the household level and she cannot detail this anyone not even shared with her friends and this disturbed her so she was continuously coughing and coughing and it was spasmodic type of cough so what is what is the what is the remedy what you can think and in fact what is you forget about remedy what is wrong with her what what should be treated it has happened that she is now in tenth she was in when she was in fourth the her father ran away so nearly about 6 years span have been already passed the disease is she is in delusion she is not accepting the reality that her father is not with her she is not accepting that her mother is not with her and this acceptance loss of acceptance is the disease in that case so this is too important you have to understand this what exactly the disease is so after giving your medicine she should start accepting that her father is no more with her her mother is no more with her if she accepts this then then the disease is cured otherwise she will not get cured that's why hanuman in the first sentence only says if the physician clearly pursues what is to be cured in diseases that is to say in every individual case of disease in every individual case of the disease what exactly to treat to that girl i have given a mac mac cos because it was an orphan she was an orphan child and that orphan feeling was there troubling her so that's why i have considered the mac along with the phos because phos element was there so phosphorus um, along with mac phos mac phos covers the spasmodic type of cough and after first 15 days of medicine when she came she she suddenly all of a sudden she she settled so nicely that all her problems disappeared even the cough has disappeared even the you know she she came with a big smile on her face and this is what this is what you have to treat so hanuman explains each and everything in a nice manner so what he says over there the physicians clearly pursues um, uh, what is to be cured in diseases that is to say in every individual case of the disease and in bracket he writes two important words 
knowledge of this is comma indication in one sentence in a one bracket he has explained the, exactly what is needed for the homeopath to understand in in the disease and he is, he explains two things one should know exactly what the disease from which he is suffering for or see she is suffering from so one must understand what exactly it's with which she, she is suffering from or he is suffering from so it is the nomenclature the diagnosis is also important because you must know what to treat in the cases if the patient comes with pain in hypogastric region you must know which are the organs which lie over there you must know the exact diagnosis from which the patient is suffering from whether it is related with the bladder whether it is related with the uh, in case of females with the uterus whether it is related with the any abdominal pathology you must know the things so knowledge of disease is important from the prognostic point of view second important thing that you must understand exactly that how much time you have to treat that so knowledge of diseases the diagnostic from diagnostic point of view that hanuman says is very very important many a physician they says that it is not necessary to uh, know the diagnosis you can prescribe only on the basis of totality of the symptoms yes you can prescribe but you don't know what you are prescribing if you don't know the diagnosis how can you prescribe if the patient is having pain in abdomen lower abdomen if she is a female and she is having along with that a severe irritation while passing the urine etc and you don't know the diagnosis if you have prescribed the colosin depending upon the modality only yes she might feel better with colosin but she will not get cured because if her pathology lies with the uh, basically with the urinary bladder and she might might have a cystitis then you must know how one should treat the cystitis whom what should be done when you deal with the cystitis and these are the things which are necessary to understand and for that purpose hanuman says that the knowledge of diseases is very important in this and then he explains the second part of it is indication what is indication the knowledge of disease which is expressing through that individual is the indication the disease which is expressing or expressing the language in which the patient comes out taking its his own individuality is very important for prescribing point of view so diagnosis is important just to understand the prognosis diagnosis is important just to understand what what may be the future of the patient diagnosis is important because you must know what you are treating but your therapeutic never depends upon that homeopathic therapeutics always depends upon the indication every patient indicates it in a different manner every patient expresses it in a different manner and for that purpose hanuman explains at the same time the two important things over there you must know the diagnosis at the same time you must know how it is expressing in an individual for example if a patient comes to you with a diagnosis of malaria he comes along with the report the malaria plasmodium falciparum is positive or plasmodium vivax is positive and patient is having typical presentation of a malaria but on the basis of that you will not going to prescribe that you give the china it is not like that unless and until it indicates the china you cannot prescribe the china there might be a cedron there might be arsenic patient might require natremur patient might require the cinchona patient might require any other remedy which will cover that so indications varies from one person to another person and your prescription depends upon that and that's why hanuman says that whenever you understand knowledge of the homeopathic physician the knowledge of diseases comma indication the first important knowledge one must born or one must have second important thing which again he defines in a proper word what he says so on if you are if you have your books right over there number 1 knowledge of diseases comma indication number 2 if he clearly perceives what is curative in medicine that is to say in each individual medicine 
नॉलेज ऑफ मेडिसिनल पावर्स नंबर टू सो दिस इज टू इम्पोर्टेंट नॉलेज ऑफ मेडिसिनल पावर्स he has not written knowledge of medicine word is very important because powers matters a lot when you deal with homeopathic it is not like a material medicine homeopathic medicine is not a material medicine which is given in 500 mg 1 g 2 g it's not like that but it is given rather in a dynamic doses and those dynamic doses starts right from 30 200 1 m 10 m 50 m cm so these are centesimal scales or you might get it 1x 2x 3x even after 24x it becomes totally dynamic or you might have lm scale but every remedy in a different potency is a different remedy see what what sentence i am telling you is very important every remedy in a different scale is a different remedy just take a simple example the season has changed nowadays there is lot of colds still is there and what type of cold it is there whether it cold it is the cold which affects your skin you get a draft of air there is a cool air which is which is there that is a there is a draft of air blow of air which is there outside and if you open your door of your house your room there draft comes out and it affects your skin this typical affecting your skin type of winter when winter starts and the chill it's like that or cold is so like, so that that it affects your skin at that time the it is typical of a hyper sulfuric now question arises that what potency of hyper sulf you are going to think patient comes within last 2 3 days you have ample cases and you have ample cases of cough and coryza and sore throat with sometimes fever if the affection is too acute you have to go for high but don't repeat too much you require hepharsulf 10m two or three doses that's all it should not be repeated too much because the basic law one must think in your mind or keep it in your mind that if the similimum is strong if the similimum is strong affection is acute if the susceptibility is high the potency should be high with less repetition what i am telling you if the similimum is strong if the disease is acute and if susceptibility is high it requires medicine in high potency with less repetition because that patient is susceptible even one or two doses and patient immediately react so first important thing that medicinal power matters a lot another remedy which is close some patients who are suffering from maxillary or frontal sinusitis with the same fever they are also suffering from because of the draft of air cold um, air another remedy which is close and which is affecting their bones of the face you know that that is which is affecting the bones just a minute so which is affecting their bones at that time generally it it is one one more remedy is calibicromicum and when it affects the bone it goes interior calibicromicum should be needed in 1m or 10m potency if you go give low it definitely aggravates if you give calibic 30 or 200 it definitely aggravates because it's it's a stimulants which stimulates the process so you must have that knowledge so what post potency you will going to select and for that purpose what what is important is to read what boric has said at the end of each and every remedy just go through that understand the concept 
if you are using heparsal for example for the patient who is having the abscess and abscess is not it completely ripened but it looks that there is one point which is looking a whitish as if it will form now on the formation of a pus and you have to, you have to ripen the abscess now there is no chance that it will settle and it is need to open it up you have to give heparsal in very low potency six potency you have to give it in six potency a little bit repetition and in order to rive the abscess abscess but if there is, you you observe the thing there is a induration but it there is no chance of finding it out of ripening process and you have to stop it at that same level then you have to give a heparsal in high potency so that it will not develop this is what given by the boricus for three remedies he has mentioned you heparsalpiricum the silicia the merxol all three remedies from syphilitic miasm and he has mentioned regarding the medicinal potency how to utilize and this is what anyone wants to explain anyone never says that knowledge of medicine but knowledge of medicinal powers because heparsal six Works in a different manner, and heparsal penem works in a different manner. It depends at what level you require a result. Just a um, rainy season has stopped. A big rainy season was there, and there were variety of patients who who were suffering from the rainy season. Some of them might have suffered from the fever blisters around the mouth. They comes to your OPD. with a pure blister and they ask you doctor this is what i am suffering from and they explain it is troubling me a lot it burns a lot it is since last 2 3 days we i am suffering and another patient comes and who comes that he also got suffered because of rainy season he got severe body aches severe pain severe fever and he was not able to sleep and he says that doctor i could not sleep whole night i was moving here and there both the patients have red tip tongue both the patients are suffered because of rainy season this patient also requires the rest of as earlier patient but for first patient you will require rest of in a very low potency 3c 6c because the affection is more superficial at the level of external motion but for the next patient where susceptibility is very high affecting the bone more innermost organ of the body where he is becoming mentally as well as physically restless the potency required is very high now you understand that drustox 6 is rather different potency uh, medicine than drustox 10 and this is what one must understand this concept he wants to highlight in in this aphorism that knowledge of medicines is not sufficient but knowledge of medicinal powers is very important so these these are the things one must practically understand once you understand those things practically then it becomes too simple to practice so see the way he explains is very important knowledge of medicinal powers just right over there second number this is number 2 knowledge of medicinal power and now he turns toward the third what he says over there and if he knows how to adapt according to clearly defined principles what is curative in medicines to what he has discovered is to be undoubtedly morbid in the patient so that recovery must ensue to adapt it as well in respect to the suitability of the medicine most appropriate according to its mode of action to the case before him number 3 the choice of remedy the medicine indicated third important knowledge what is that knowledge knowledge of medicinal powers to application of knowledge of medicinal powers to the knowledge of disease comma indication this practical application one must understand you have big knowledge of diseases you have big knowledge of medicinal powers but you don't know how to apply it you don't know the principles you don't know the law of similars you don't know the law of simplex you don't know the law of minimum dose then you cannot apply 
you must know all the cardinal principles so that you can apply that medicine according to it. and that is why he is explaining over there that this proper application means he should be able to reach to a right remedy and that's why the third knowledge we ex which he explains over there the choice of the remedy the medicine indicated so the medicine which is indicated in that specific case that one must understand every case defines it in a different manner so you you must able to understand what exactly the fault is if you are able to find it out then it becomes too simple to reach to the right remedy but if you are not able to find it out then you cannot reach to the right remedy and if you don't reach to the right remedy then you have to go on repeating it again and again then you have to take those things again and again so these are things one must understand oh clearly so this is two important thing one must understand that is the choice of the remedy the medicine indicated the third important knowledge the quality of homeopathic physician for doing the homeopathic practice then comes choice of the remedy the medicine indicated as also in respect to the exact mode of preparation and quantity of it required so how to prepare it exact mode of preparation and quantity of it required so exactly how much dose you must require the proper dose whether the patient required one dose two dose three dose repetition or not to repeat everything you have to take into consideration you you have to reach to the right potency first and then if you choose right potency then you must know whether to repeat or whether not to repeat you must understand it and that knowledge you have to develop practically for that purpose you have to understand each and every remedy the pace of the remedy the depth of the remedy how much depth that remedy is having you open the borix matra medica go to the last part where the gibson miller's remedy relationship he has mentioned and he has mentioned the actions of the remedy you just go through that read that properly right from the a to z and find it out which remedy acts at how much time which are the remedies which are having very acute action for a day or 1 to 7 days which are the remedies which are having a moderate action 20 to 30 days and which are the remedies which acts more than 30 days then you read each every remedy sentence by sentence then you will understand the pace of the remedy if you open the barata cup and the end of the barata cup what he has written just open if you have the borix matra medica just open you can find it out very very important sentence as written by borix over there and is true he explains over there barata is slow in action it bears repetition this sentence is there this sentence means a lot so if a patient who is barata cup child who is coming to you with some hypertrophic tonsil and you are prescribing barata and if you are giving in 30 potency you go on repeating the barata because if you give one dose of barata nothing will going to happen because barata is slow in action you have to repeat it till because barata him barata itself patient barata is slow his dwarf the reactions are slow naturally whenever the person is slow you have to go and give him a stimulus more and more that stimulus brings him out calcarea is little bit better than barata but it also requires repetition because that also wants a stimulus that also requires a stimulus so barata like barata calcarea is also slow but as compared to barata it's little bit fast but if you take the pace of a belladonna belladonna space aconite space napsomica space allium sipa space ramonium space it is too acute even calibichromicum remedy from zepilitic myosin is having an acute pace 
and when the pace is acute it should be repeated cautiously sometimes it, it require repetition sometimes it never requires repetition for what purpose you are using it on basis of that you have to think whether to repeat or whether not to repeat so knowledge of repetition of the dose so knowledge of proper dose at the same time repetition of the dose is very important entity one must think see we have started with this aphorism we have considered first knowledge of disease comma indication both things are necessary number 2 quality homeopathic physician bear is knowledge of medicinal powers and we have learned one sentence over there every remedy in different potency is a different remedy and that knowledge one should have the third knowledge the choice of the remedy the medicine indicated that means the applic proper application of knowledge of medicinal powers to the knowledge of disease comma indication and number 4 that is the knowledge of proper dose and repetition of the dose so this knowledge you can gather when you when you attend the homeopathic opd when you sit with senior practitioners you automatically understand why the why in one case sir is repeating the dose and why in another case he is not repeating the dose why in biochemics he used to repeat why he is he never repeats in centesimal why in 50 millisimal he repeats so fast all things are necessary and that knowledge one must born this is what hanemon wants to explain over there so this is the third point uh, fourth point which is ne needed the knowledge of proper dose the quantity quantity whether it matters when you deal with the dynamics the quantity matter quantity never matters whether you give one tablet one pill or whether you give 10 pills or whether you give it give 100 pills if you have given it in 30 potency it will act as a 30 because there is no it is not one pill of 30 and second pill of 30 means it's 60 it's not like that in dynamics there is no addition no subtraction no multiplication no dividing so it remains one and same and that's why the quantity doesn't matter when you choose it in dynamic doses but quantity matters when you give it material doses for example you have selected the justicia mother tincture and you have given it to the patient then definitely quantity matters whether to give 5 drops 10 drops to 15 drops 20 drops it varies it varies because action varies on the basis of that so these are very essential things one must know so today we have finished up to this part of the aphorism is still remaining on monday session we will finish this aphorism and we'll understand with some cases the practical aspect of this aphorism so thank you being there ali anita everyone who is there dr uma dr uttareshwar then dr ifat harshal dr preeti yash is there dr yash srimari who is there so thank you being there and we'll continue with the session on monday thanks a lot and today we'll have you'll have another very interesting session at night at 9 o'clock mm, 8 o'clock today we'll have a 9 o'clock a good session with Uh, related with the cancer so don't miss that those who have joined divine school of homeopathy go through that and understand many many more things which are going in our opd so thank you being there we'll meet again on the monday until that period go through the organ of medicine again and again so that you can have many 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 things to learn question and answers yes i am little bit busy nowadays whenever time permits i will go for the question and answer thank you